Diversity in Living Organisms We find lots of life forms around us, and each organism is different from all others to a lesser or greater extent. It could be difference in height and size, microscopic like bacteria, or macroscopic like a huge elephant, or difference in color, colorless like a transparent worm, to brightly colored like birds and flowers, or even lifespan, thousands of years like pine trees, to a few days like a mosquito. As there are lots of organisms, it is difficult to understand each and every organism. So how do we understand them? We try to understand the similarities among organisms and classify based on these characteristics. Characteristic is a particular form or a particular function. What is the basis of this classification? Organisms can be classified in different ways. We use the hierarchical classification with the lowermost level having characteristics that decide the broadest divisions among living organisms. This means they have unique characteristics. The characteristics in any level would be dependent on the previous one and would decide the variety in the next level. We will be using this hierarchical classification henceforth. Organisms are broadly classified in kingdoms. The subgroups under a kingdom is called phylum for animal classification and division for plant classification. The next level is order. Then comes family, then genus, and then the lowest level, species. An easier way of remembering, keep pond clean or froggy gets sick. Notice that the first letters of each word correspond to the first letter of each hierarchy in the classification.